humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the previous parts, I took on a bunch of shrines in the sky. I, I never really went over to this purple mark. I set this mark like 10, 15 parts ago, and I never conquered what I actually wanted to conquer over here. But I did go over to this general area, and I knocked out these two shrines, and I knocked out four shrines in the previous part, actually, all in the sky. And in the process, I got this glide armor that will allow me to glide more, I guess, Thoroughly, I'll have better aerial mobility is the point. Allow me to demonstrate. I can go like, let go and then do woo. Yeah, well, it's a little hard to demonstrate here. You'll just have to take my word on it. But anyway, now that I've taken a slight detour into the sky, what do you say I resume my time here on the land and in the depths? Namely, I'd like to try and find all the light routes that connect through this northern part of Hyrule. And then I'll wrap my way around, maybe even in this video, and I'll get back to the surface, and then I'll finally take on the blue mark in the next part, because that'll take me over to what will be Tarrytown, or Tarrytown, however you pronounce it. But since I've been filling out all the light routes here in the northwestern part of Hyrule, I think I want to continue my way around and just continue along the northern side and kind of make myself a little clockwise pattern. So, I have a yellow mark here, because that'll correspond with this shrine. Okay. And then I've gone through this before to get to the Korok Forest. But I never, I never went through this chasm now, did I? Or perhaps I did. Perhaps that's how I got the, well, no, I didn't because then there would be a little chasm mark here, right? So, okay, let's go ahead and start up here for this part. We'll go into the chasm. I'll go ahead and explore the depths in this general location. And then I'll find any light routes that correspond with the shrines that I've already found up top. And if I find a light route down in the depths and I didn't conquer a shrine that was found up on the surface, then I'll go and conquer said shrine. And I'm hoping that I can conquer two shrines in this part because I already have two Lights of Blessing as a remainder from the previous part. So if I were to conquer two more shrines, I'd get two more Lights of Blessings and I would then have four to be able to cash in for another heart container. So that would be ideal, but let's get things underway. Let's go ahead and head toward, oh, I've already used up all my markers. Okay, there, in that direction then, fine. I was gonna say, I know I've used a couple of my markers, but I know I still have some available to me. I was definitely using red and green throughout the previous part, and I definitely accessed where I set the red and green markers. And even if I did it, it's only a matter of time before I explore enough of Hyrule to where I would access them again, presumably. All right, this rock better not be a Korok seed because I intend to glide right over it. All right, you know, I'm gonna move beyond that bigger boulder over there too. We're gonna keep gliding for as much as I can, I think the aerial mobility helps me here. I don't, I don't know. I even ended the previous part by giving myself some upgrades to make my armor more defensive so I can glide and take a couple hits. But for now, Discovery! The Drennan Highlands Chasm! Let's go! Down, down, down. Let's go ahead and get that darker lighting and I see the pose. I see the pose and I've got two fairies in my inventory in case I were to go splat, which I'm not going to. I'm gonna be totally fine right here. Boom. All right, let's get all the pose. Oh, folks. I am so close to being able to have 1,000 Poes in my possession. I am about to cross over that 900 threshold, and now less than 100 Poes are necessary to press onward. I can smash this open too, by the way. Okay, so obviously I haven't filled in this area yet because it would be brighter if I did, but what's the deal with this? What is this significance? Okay, up and over. So what's going on over here? Can I even read this? It's okay, I can't, I can't, I can't read Diddly Squat. All right. So I see a light route there, boom. That is a light route that I have not yet done, right? Oh no, that is one that I've done, okay. Well then we don't want that. We're gonna start looking back at the regular surface and seeing if I can find shrines that correspond. So I've done that one, which means the next closest one would be over here. And in order to get this, I'm gonna kinda have to wander, oh wait, hang on. I got the one inside the Great Hyrule Forest. Got it, so in order to actually get this one, I'm gonna have to hang north, oh, whoa there. I'm gonna have to hang north because wherever there's bodies of water on the Hyrule surface, usually that means it's a wall here on the surface. Usually. There have been a couple of exceptions I've noticed, but the, the general idea of navigating the depths is that you don't want to go where there's water on Hyrule surface. And also, once I get a top here, I'm gonna put my glowy mask back on. All right, it's been fun wearing this gliding gear. Very, very fun and all, but I now need to glow here in the dark because it's only a matter of time before I actually get all the light roots here in the depths and then glowing will no longer really be necessary. And also I do want to have this on so I can get some gloom resistance. And I could get more gloom resistance if I wore Minda's helmet, but I, I wanna, well, what does that look like? But I, get, I just get two hearts, that's cool. So there's gotta be some pants that give me that as well, right? But I'd rather have my head glow, thank you. And then for the pants, let's see. 
I don't need the sand boots on anymore, and I don't know that stealth is gonna do me much good. Nothing else really has armor upgrades, so we're just gonna go for the attack up. That could go a long way. If I had speed boost or something, that'd be cool. All right, so we get in the pose. We're getting the pose. This may very well be the part of this walkthrough where I finally get my 1,000th Poe. Yep, part 82. Oh, we're just gonna go through all sorts of gloom right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just gonna, just gonna eat all that up. Yep, but my face is glowing. That's pretty cool. In fact, I technically don't need to have this helmet on. I could wear a Minda's helmet and just consume an elixir that would give me a glow. But it's, oh, hang on. But it's kind of more fun to have this on. What the heck? I was trying to get out of the crouching position. It wouldn't let me. I press B and then Link immediately dashes forward. Come on now. We got to be climbing, buddy. There's going to be all sorts of climbing in this part. I can only imagine. Yep, see, as I keep falling down. In fact, why climb when I can ascend? That's much easier. It's faster. It's more stylish, especially when I have this little glow coming out of my head. And I get to save my stamina in case it's a really, really tall wall or a really steep hill. All right. Now, this seems to be some sort of enemy hideout. I don't think I need to collide with these enemies' ambitions. Eh, whatever, I'll go ahead and do it anyway. I've got yellow choo-choo jelly. Let's go ahead and light the place up. Boom. All right. I'm gonna head up here real quick. Thank you, Zonite. Sure, and some arrows and a blue bokoblin horn. That's all nice and fine and dandy. All right, I just need a regular arrow for you. Boom. All right, and now we strike. We strike, I got plenty of power, and now I'm about to get plenty of Zonite. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and a black bokoblin horn. Yep, that stuff is useful. I like using that to fuse with my weapons, but now I realize I need to start hanging on to that stuff because I'm gonna start needing black bokoblin body parts to actually upgrade my armor. Same thing with moblins. I guess I may as well eliminate you real quickly because moblin parts are really good. Oh, there's a bunch of moblins here. And I just happen to be too tall for you to even be able to strike me. How amusing. Okay, well, we're just gonna keep this going then. Boom, there you go. I broke my flux pounder. Happens. I'm gonna take all these. I'm not letting all this get away. Yeah, see I really need to make sure I get the moblin guts. That's the valuable stuff. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. All right, he's, he swung and he hit. Hey, I landed in this one part that didn't have gloom in it. How lucky for me. Okay, now hang on. There's all sorts of stuff over here that's like dropping and I'm totally missing all of it. All right, here we go. Hey, all right, I, be I better just like wrap this up, huh? Nope, okay. Hey, thanks for breaking that for me. That's handy. Okay. Oh, thanks for the good hit, whoever did that. What was that, Unobo? Good hit. Okay, oh, yep, I'm gonna want all of these. Yep, the bokoblin horns. Okay, not necessarily the weapons, but that's a good point. I was just talking about how much I like these black bokoblin horns, so I'm gonna go ahead and fuse one to my spear. Let's see. So we're gonna do my fuse attack power, and now I just said I needed to hang on to these, but I can go ahead and use one, right? Black moblin horn. I was gonna say I should have plenty of bokoblin horns. Boom, fuse, hey. There we go, and we strike. Ooh, okay, nope, I'm gonna defeat you before you defeat me. It's gonna be great. Right, I'm not even close to you, boom, 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 boom. Boom, okay, we don't want those arrows to hit me now. Yeah, go ahead and take the time to roar, huh? There you go, boom, 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 boom. Hey, Sidon, you know what? I don't use this ability very often, but I could use your shield. There we go. Oh, well, I, I, I forgot, like, I immediately use up the shield when I go back to striking you. Okay, yep, hang on, right in the face, boom. Okay, I gotta make sure you're still in an area where you don't fall too much so I can still reap the rewards after I eliminate you. Like so. Boom, 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 boom. No moblin guts after all that? Well, moblin fangs are still fine too. And sure, I'll take that muddle, bud. And there was still like one enemy that was shooting at me over here, right? Oh, yeah, there are, the, there are the weapons, I don't need that. Oh, good shot, buddy. Unfortunately, I'm just better. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. This is why you wanna have all these hearts. One of the few times you're gonna hear me say you should have hearts instead of stamina. It's for combat. Otherwise, stamina's always gonna be better. But this is why you wanna have all these hearts before you go into the depths, I suppose. All right, so what other weapons do I have? I got me a mighty Zonite spear, which is interesting, and a rusty broadsword. Well, that rusty broadsword will do me good because I generally prefer fighting with one-handed weapons anyway. And if I simply fuse a silver bokoblin horn to it, then I'll have some oomph to it. Boom, baby. All right, now that we've got that and a slight glow on my back now, I think I can now somewhat comfortably just start heading in the general direction of the red mark once again. I've only got three regular hearts though, and although I am wearing the body armor that grants me like a couple seconds of gloom resistance, I actually gotta be a little careful now. I gotta give credit where credit is due. That moblin really did a number on me. Okay, we gotta, we're gonna fill up that stamina. I'd rather not engage in more combat at the moment. I'm just grabbing the pose, thank you. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna go this way. 
If you're readying your arrows, you can put it down. I am not interested in fighting you. Well, if I start climbing this and it starts corrupting my hearts, I might be in trouble. Okay. Oh, it's just a little wall here. Very well. I'm fine with that. Here, and then we got a puff shroom. Okay, so let's go ahead and light the way up ahead. Just to see what's over here, huh? There we go. A wall! See, now I know which way to go without walking straight through the gloom. Normally, I just power through that gloom. You guys know this, but death by gloom is not a death that I would like to showcase in this walkthrough because I am done getting game overs. Oh, and that must be the light route. Unless there happens to be another one eerily close to the one that I previously marked. But now we'll mark this in. That'll uncorrupt my hearts. So then I can restore my health more naturally by consuming food. And then I can go ahead and plot out where I wish to go next. I am curious to see how much of the map this light route will fill in because that will determine whether or not there's another shrine over here. And if there is another shrine over here, well, you better believe I'm gonna go and conquer it in this very part. But for now, the Katanim light route. Let's get it. Nice, that filled in a great chunk of it, actually. And let's see here. So I already got the Great Korok Forest. There's not much of a need for me to go down there, but I suppose going that way would provide just an alternate route. Let's see, oh yeah. That's a lot of hearts to restore. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, so first, the food. Let's see, I have some stuff that's just like a full restore and then some, right? Yeah, that's that good stuff. So let's consume that. Now I'm ready to go. Next. We want to see, oh, that's not the red mark, hang on. So there is a shrine up here. Huh, okay. Well, let's go get it real quickly. Yeah, hang on, I'm not, I'm north of where, I'm north of, of the Great Korok Forest. Yeah, that, that's all this. So maybe I do want to inspect this. That's where my next marker will be. All right, I'll be back down here in just a moment. For now, I guess it would be in my best interest to go to the Skyview Tower and then to work my way around and see if there's a shrine. And I mean, there will be a shrine, and my shrine radar will aid me to find it, but folks, I think it's highly plausible that I'm gonna knock out two shrines in this walkthrough part after all. So, I will have done 100, I, well, actually, hang on. I will do shrine 119 and shrine 120 in this walkthrough part. That's pretty nuts, because in Breath of the Wild, there were only 120 shrines. So by the time I'm done with this walkthrough part, part 120, or sorry, part 82, I will have done the amount of shrines that I did in Breath of the Wild, which is also interesting because I think by about part 80 or so in my Breath of the Wild walkthrough, I was done with the shrines. Because then from there, I had like 10 or 15 parts where it was dedicated to knocking out the remaining side quests and then just like doing, like filling in other parts of the map. Hmm, can I make this jump? Uh, I'm gonna find out. Oh, I'm gonna be so close, so close, so close. Let's go. I'm mashing X, dude. I'm mashing X. That's done intentionally. They don't want you to glide out of here. Well, it's no wonder that I never found the shrine over here because I had no real incentive to try and get my butt kicked trying to glide north of here. Darn it. I just need something with slightly higher elevation. Like, slightly higher. This tree is not slightly higher. Okay, yes, I know. I can go to the sky view tower. I remember the sky view tower even. In fact, hey, there's a shrine I see over in this direction that I'm not even certain that I've done in the past. Hang on, so we're gonna get rid of the blue marker for a moment. I can go back there. And now I'm gonna mark that. So that's another shrine that I've just never done, which will correspond with a light route underneath it. All right, very well then. We're gonna be zigzagging in and out of the depths, okay? We're gonna do light route shrine, shrine light route, light route shrine, something like that. I mean, obviously, and hopefully, there will be light routes that I do in this part that will already have a shrine conquered beside it. Like, a, that, basically, I'm gonna find light routes that correspond with shrines I've already done, right? I've only found, like, 70 light routes, but I'm about to do my 119th and my 120th shrines. That's crazy. It'll be even crazier if I do, like, three or four shrines in this part, just going well over. I don't, I, I thought there were only like 130 something shrines in this part, in this game, but I could be wrong about that. It could be closer to like 140 or 150. 
Guess we're gonna find out. For now, I can't believe I had to go all the way back to the little Skyview Tower just so I could glide over this tiny gap of mud when I was so close to being able to glide over it in the first place. And maybe I could have been able to glide over it had I actually put my glide outfit on that I obtained in the previous part, but it's whatever. It's whatever. Let's see, I decided not to explore the sky in the previous part and that I was just doing this part instead. This is how I would have had to have done it. I would have had to have gone this way and then I would have had to have... Oh, hang on, that's that's Tulin flying behind me. I was about to say, what's catching up to me? I would have had to have gone this way and then I would have had to have tracked the shrine more naturally otherwise. Okay, so shrine down below. Hang on. So I'm, I'm facing it. It would be this way. So it's probably inside of a cave, which would also partially explain why I didn't immediately see it. Oh, and the blood moon's coming out. All right, I'm definitely glad I did the sky coverage in the previous part because I don't want to deal with no blood moon. All right, let's see if I can get inside the shrine so that the blood moon can go into effect while I'm busy conquering stuff. Oh, I did wander through here, though. This much I recall. I came by this... This is like the Elden Great Skeleton or whatever. All right, well, in any case... Hey, look at that. You can even see where I was in the previous part. It's that little spiral island over there. That's fun. Okay, so this way... This way. Just, like, directly this way. Okay. Well, then I'll keep it going. I will keep it going. I don't suppose that there's a shrine that you access in this game that can only be located by going backwards from the depths, right? Usually when you're in the depths, you don't really go back up. Okay, is it in, is it like in this rock, really? That's pretty cool. All right, well then I just gotta find a point of it. Oh no, it's telling me to go this way. But it's down below still. Darn it, folks. I don't think I'm gonna get to this shrine before the blood moon goes completely overhead. I've got 25 in-game minutes to find it, which means in real time, I've got about 30 seconds. All right, well, that blood moon's gonna kick in, and then I'm gonna skip past the cutscene, and then the... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna grab this and see if the blood moon immediately brings it back. Let's see, all right? Let's put my... Let's put my theory to the test. Oh, all right. I do admit, though, it looks kind of cool when a blood moon goes into effect. All right, so we're skipping that. Yeah, 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 glow of a bloodstained moon. I suspect that that won't be the last blood moon I see in this game. For better or for worse. All right. What do you know? It gave me my mushroom back. Yes, because a blood moon serves as a way to refill everything in the game with a canonical purpose. All right, so now I still need to figure out, I, I, like I've walked over where it would be. It would be right here. It would be to my, it would, yeah, so it's, it's gonna be, well, it's gonna be beneath me, that much is certain, but I didn't see a cave entrance over here. And I've been over here before. This is how I wandered over to the Goron region of the map, going from the Rito region. You're telling me there's a cave entrance over here. There's gotta be. I mean, it looks like there would be, so we'll start from the- Oh, ha! There is a cave! Because I see this little, what do you call it, bloopy thing? You're telling me I just never wandered into here and found a shrine, huh? Must have been preoccupied with just wanting to go to the Goron region. Very well. Tell you what then, I'll go ahead and eliminate these enemies real quick. Ah, uh, you know what, actually, while well, I have the stamina. Boom, because I could use some more rupees. Sorry, buddy! Okay. Okay. Sorry, buddy. You just dropped so many rupees. Thank you. All right, now it's time to eliminate all the enemies here. Wish I didn't have to hurt the horse, but if I could just knock you off the horse, that'll make things a little easier. Oh, gotta hit where you're going, not where you've been. There we go. Run, horse, run! I'll take it from here. I'm not in the depths anymore, so I'm ready to just see what I'm doing and totally annihilate you. Thanks for the assist, fellas. There you go, yeah, sound that horn. See what good that does you. There you go. I'm defeating you with your own body parts. How does that make you feel? There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Did I not get another silver boko part? That's a bummer. Ooh, good hit, but not good enough. All right, and now, oh, you know what I'm gonna totally do? I'm just gonna blast this place open to smithereens. Here you go. There you go. All right, oh, I just gave you fiery weapons. That's not what I wanted. Defeating you is more so what I wanted though. Okay, I'll just get the master sword out. We're fine, we're ready to go. Boom, boom. Good hit, you Nobo. Okay, eliminated. Done. Okay, am I gonna be able to get your parts? I am. Cool. All right, what else we got? Aha, we gotta back up for a second. There's a treasure chest there, just like out in the open. I don't even have to defeat all the enemies to get it. All right, I'm gonna knock you off real quickly. I said I'm gonna knock you off real quickly. Yeah, don't make me out to be a liar now. I try not to tell lies. I try to primarily tell the truth. Okay, there we go. And then just you, right? Okay, I'm ready. Hmm, I thought for sure that would give me a flurry rush. That's okay. We strike. Boom. All right, I'm ready. Give me that flurry rush. Okay, or my allies can get you. It's kind of messing up my timing. Whatever then. Forget the flurry rush. I'll just wail on you the old-fashioned way. Oh, no? No? Okay. We're still getting you. We're still getting you. I'm hitting your rear. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna just wrap this up then. Oh, you're gonna make me use my master sword up on you. So be it. Are you done at least? You're done. Cool, I got some boss bacoblin things. That much is nice. All right, let's go ahead and open up this treasure chest. Let's see what the deal is with this. And then I'm gonna do a little more weapon fusing and then I'm gonna go explore that cave. So right over here, we've got a royal claymore. Cool. Kind of wish I didn't have so many two-handed weapons. Hmm. Well, all right. Let's see then. So if I'm gonna do this, we can go ahead and drop uh, by, we're gonna sort by attack power. Okay, we'll do this, boom. Drop, and then we can do, boom. All right, and then I am gonna want like a boulder weapon or something, some equivalent to smash this open. No, I don't, I actually don't have any anymore. Can I just use a regular Knight's Claymore to get this open? Let's see, I can. So I'll grab all these arrows for, cause I just used up so many in that fight, very good. Okay, I'll grab these as well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything else over here? And a couple more Bacoblin parts, I suppose, are useful for upgrading armor parts in the future. All right then. Well, I found the cave and I see you. Cool. Sure, I'll get a nice little fire keys part while I'm at it. Why the heck not? Fire keys eyeball. I know I'm gonna need those to upgrade armor parts in the future as well. Just collecting everything and hanging on to everything, becoming quite the hoarder. All right, so admittedly, this cave entrance is a little difficult to spot. I don't know that I would have found it if the little bloopy wasn't there. Okay, I got a hightail. Woo, we are going in. We're going in. I am glad that I still have my glowy helmet on. That's the perfect thing to have on right now. Okay, so. Ooh, look at all this, there's a bomb flower, there's some giant bright bloom seeds, that's fun. Okay, maybe we leave the bright bloom seeds alone for now. So I'm not opposed to taking these ones. Okay, so hang on, are those horriblins? Yep, a blue horriblin up ahead. Oh, how horrible! There you go, already eliminated. You make it too easy sometimes. Oh, I don't really want a bouncy stick. I mean, those are funny to use, but I, I really don't need this. Here, I'll just chuck it at you, there you go. And now I can use a weapon that I actually want to have on hand to be able to eliminate you. Boom, oh that's right, this is a two-handed weapon. Okay, well then that means I gotta do this. That means I gotta be swinging. Ooh, good thing I'm not motion sick. I mean, I'm not actually spinning. It'd be fun to spin around in my chair while I was doing this, but I do wear wired headphones. My controller's wireless, but wired headphones will make that a big complication. Even so, maybe it's for the better that I don't need motion controls and actually, in order to actually wail on you, huh? Look at that, I'm wailing on you so much that I was able to have a conversation about motion controls and spinning around in my chair. There you go. That is something I might do in Splatoon one day, is I might play a weapon and spin around in my chair so I can get the, oh my god. That is actually how you aim in that game. Motion aiming, speaking of motion aiming, how about this? Boom. Oh, that actually didn't, here, you know what? I don't need to use the bombs, I just need to use the shocks, yeah. How about that for shock value, huh? All right, now we go back to spinning. Like a record, baby. Like that one song by the band, Dead or Alive. Not to be confused with the game of the same name, which also has good music. But I do like the song, You Spin Me Right Round by Dead or Alive. It's, it's a song that's been used in memes, but I actually do like that song. All right, boom. How many more do we need? It's nice to get the silver Horoblin claw or whatever. Oh, that's just you, Nobo. I thought you were an enemy, you Nobo. I'm sorry. I mean, I guess, I guess at one point in this walkthrough, you were and enemy, but okay. Anyway, here we go. Let's see, so if I get you off this, hey! Okay, I don't know what's attacking me anymore. Was that you? Or is there like another one and now I got this fire keys and I'm not opposed to taking out the fire keys. There you go. I am a little upset that I used it. Th that keys got annihilated by my black Foco blade, but I'm a little upset that that's what I had to use it on. All right, no worries. I got a throwing spear. All right, there you go. Yeah, I don't need anything super fancy with that. The blue horrible and horn. Oh, is that all of them? Cool. Well, I ain't complaining. I'll go ahead and reap the reward, but were there two treasure chests or was there just the one? I think there were two. Maybe this still implies that both of them are open. Or maybe it is just the one, maybe I'm just crazy. Or maybe I'm crazy, but there are two treasure chests. That's always a possibility. All right, let's see what we got here. Forest Dweller Spear, ah, do I have a picture of that? I would like to check, let me drop down here. Oh yeah, so there is another horror blend, hang on. Okay, so I'll take you out real quickly. The photo can wait. Okay, and I'll take out the fire keys too. Oh my God, there, take you out. Thank you. There, get those fire keys parts. All right, so there was another treasure chest. So folks, that confirms it. There were two treasure chests and I am indeed crazy, but I try to use that to my advantage sometimes. All right, so let's go up here and see what's inside of here. Perhaps another forest dweller stick, maybe even a gemstone. Wouldn't that be nice? And sure, I'll go ahead and pick up the meat and everything else that's up here. Oh yeah, and I gotta take a photo of the forest dwellers. Okay, well, let's see what's inside here first. Soldier's claim. So many sticks. 
I don't want more weapons, though. It'd be nice to be able to hold more weapons, but no matter what, I'm always going to run into this problem where I open more treasure chests and there's always more weapons that come out of them. All right, let's go ahead and drop the Forest Dweller Spear and double check that I have a photo. Mm-hmm. All right, let me just double check. I did get it. I probably... You're like, a, oh my god, don't light that on fire. No, 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 no. You gotta relax, you know, Bo. I know you're excited to finally do something, but you gotta relax, okay? All right, here. So I can still use this. Oh, hang on, let's not set myself on fire now. I didn't, okay, you know, but you know what? You have redeemed yourself already. Good job. Now, ultimately, the shrine's gonna be in this direction, but that's just a wall. Fine, I'll go ahead and throw down a bright bloom seed right here. Boom, there we go. All right. So is the shrine to be down here then? Oh, some amber, I'll gladly take that as well. Right, like, this has gotta be the room with the shrine in it. Or not, oh yeah it is, okay. So that's cool. So I'll go ahead and do the shrine now, and then I'll go ahead and find the bubble gem after I conquered the shrine, because conquering the shrine will allow me to refill my heart containers. And then after that, I can go ahead and, well, be well stocked to find the bubble gem. And then once I find the bubble gem, I can go back to my depths explorate, no! I'm not going to the depths just yet. There's another shrine on the surface that I wanted to do, and that will allow me to have another light read that corresponds with it. So let's go ahead and do shrine number 119 real quickly. It is a blessing shrine, I should have guessed because it was submerged in a cave. All right, well, that's still fine. At least these blessing shrines are pretty. All right, and let's see what's inside this treasure chest. A diamond, a star fragment? Do not give me a weapon. Big battery, I do like those. Those are good. I like having those a lot. And I do, I do foresee myself using more Zonai devices as this walkthrough goes on. So having a big battery will only allow me to prevail in that area. All right, so that's Shrine 119. I'm curious as to see which shrine will be lucky number 120. But for now, there we go. All right, so I've already got the next shrine marked. So I'm just gonna basically, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the check mark on this cave and then I'm gonna warp right out of here using Ascend, probably, and then I'm just gonna run over to the next shrine on foot. There we go, there we go. See, this is why I'm glad that I'm covering in the northern part of the map right now, because I had to do it anyway, and it makes sense that I would cover it while I'm covering the depths, while I make my way over to Tarry Town, or Terry Town, or oh, however you pronounce it. Okay, so this, I mean, there, there's, there's a whole lot of uppity in here, but it's just so dark. So, we're gonna keep going around. I can get rid of the green mark, though. That is no longer required. In fact, what I could do before I forget is to set it back over here. We'll go inspect that area in a moment. All right, so we're looking, we're looking. I already fought a bunch of horror blends. All right, hang on a second. So we're gonna just throw these down here to mark my way. All right, so it was cool that I found the shrine and all that. That was really cool. Whoa, do you guys wanna like fight those? What are you guys doing? Where's that coming from? Oh, hello. Hello! <laughs> Hi! Found it. Already eliminated. Cool, so I'll take the like like stone, I'll take the fire fruits, and we'll see what's inside this treasure chest. It is... Forest Dweller's Shield. That sounds new. I don't know that I've gotten one of those before, and I'll double check in just a moment. Okay, so we're gonna temporarily drop the Mighty Zonite Shield. Alright, Forest Dweller's Shield, huh? I feel like that'd be useful for a side quest or something. I like never get those. Nope, that's new. Well, awesome. That's one less photo that I'll have to purchase from Robbie in the future. Glad I checked, glad I was able to get one. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this shield then. And we're gonna switch over, I should probably fuse something to this spear, huh? So let's go over to my materials. Let's sort by fuse attack power. And it's always gonna be the black Bacoblin horn just cause they're so easy to come by. All right, oh, hang on, is this a rare ore deposit? Looks that way. Yeah, what do we got? One ruby. That's fine. I did sell a ruby in the previous part. I'll take some luminous stone, sure. And I'm gonna light this place up, all right? What do we got here? Hmm. Not a whole lot going on. Really, just like a rare ore deposit over here and that's it? That's what that fire like like was guarding? All right, well this cave is getting lit up. So, that is nice. All right, so I can definitely use that to indicate where I've been. So we don't, I don't think I want to go that way anymore. You can go ahead and throw this over here. Boom. If this cave is gonna, oh, actually that's a good point. I should fuse this to another weapon so I actually have some rocky things. All right, so we can do, boom, boom, stone. There, now I can smash open these ore deposits. Okay, now as I was saying, if this cave is gonna, if, if this cave is gonna give me bright bloom seeds, then I'm gonna use them. 
Okay, I don't think I even need a giant bright bloom seed. I think I just need to go this way. Yeah, I'm going deeper into a cave. It certainly feels that way. Boom. Boom. Okay, I think I needed a bigger rock. But getting the amber is definitely good. That's definitely good. Okay, hang on. What do we got up here? Hello. Goodbye. Broke my royal bow. Well, it was only a matter of time. Here. Let's go ahead and switch over to... A knight's bow. Went from royal to knight. Nice. Okay, so this is definitely a place. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. All right, here, this. This is what I wanted. Okay, there we go. This part is lit up. There's more stuff this way. Ooh. We even got a bright cap. All right, this cave just keeps going, huh? I mean, it's crazy that I already got the shrine then. You'd think, like, the shrine would be a lot harder to find. Okay, so we can go this way. And they really hid this little bubble gem creature down here, huh? I guess the answer would be for me to actually look it up in my Hyrule Compendium, because I have a photo of the guy. This is the way I came in. We don't want to go this way. So I'm going to throw this over here to indicate that I've been this way. Okay? So now we're going back in. We're going back down. I'd rather not have to use the Hyrule Compendium. No real reason. I just feel like that kind of takes the fun out of it, I suppose. And I feel like I'll find it in a couple seconds anyway. Let's see. So where haven't I gone? Can I go further up there? No. Okay, this part is still dark. Okay. So fine. We'll go ahead and light it up. We'll go over there. Right, because I've already gone to the right. So now if I go this way, which ways haven't I gone just yet? Let's see. So there is no more uppity. This is just where the other treasure chest was. Is there another path back this way I could go? Because otherwise this whole place is filled in. All right, fine. Go to the high roll. Swallow my pride for a second. Go back here. It still counts as a beast though, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I need the bubble gem thing. I don't remember what it's called. I just remember when I see it. It's not. A, it's, these are like the bigger boss enemies. It's not going to be them. Uh, but they're not super common. I don't remember where it is on here. I had I to start like writing down the numbers of everything. Let me see. It's nice to see how filled in this is becoming though. Right? It counts as a beast, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. A cre oh, okay, a creature then, perhaps. Uh, oh yeah, here it is, right here, 31. Bubble frog. Okay, let's see, this way, back. Well, I actually don't know how useful this is gonna be. Oh, unless I can like go through there. What is this? What, 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 is, what is the deal with this, huh? What do, you, what, do you, what do you accomplish by putting that little nook there? Okay, so that's where the shrine, is. oh, I guess it would make sense if it was the opposite. You were looking through here and you'd be like, whoa, there's a shrine over there. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we are gonna wanna go back eventually. So let's loop back around here, and then let's see if this radar starts going off. So down here? Down here, huh? Oh, wait, there is another dark part over here. All right, well, I'm glad that I've been lighting stuff up as I've gone along. Okay, grabbing those. Okay, and then back over here, but I've gone this way. You're saying it's like over there? Hang on, I'm breaking open this ore deposit. Flint, man, finding this bubble gem is tricky. We're gonna go down this way then. Back. In. Aha! Okay, yeah, there's like a. It, it, yeah, there was just like a slight turn that I wasn't gonna find otherwise. All right, I guess I had to use the Hyrule Compendium. Glad it works. Thank you. And then I'll go ahead and grab these. All right, now, I can go ahead and descend my way out of here. Yep, heading straight up. The higher elevation that gets me, the better. And where are we gonna pop out, huh? Because it looks like I'm going pretty darn up. Just like that movie by Pixar, which was the 10th movie by Pixar and the first one in 3D, directed by Pete Docter, who also worked on Monsters, Inc. That guy is great. All right, so let's go ahead and move up further. Yep, there's that shrine I marked. So now we're gonna just glide over there. It shouldn't be that difficult to access, but obviously the higher up I go now, the easier it'll be to just glide over there and slowly descend into it. All right. Looks like it is like slightly up a mountainside, but even then I'm not worried. And if a rock were to fall down that I could use recall on to go up, then I'll do that. You know what, I'll even fight. Oh, I, I was just mashing it. I didn't even know there was, a, there was a dragonfly there. Let me see, do I have photos of both of you? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Captain construct? Stop. What the heck is a captain construct? Stop. Captain construct, there we go. One less photo that I'll have to purchase from Robbie. So what's, what's the deal with this captain construct, huh? And if I blast you open with a bomb, are you guys gonna care? Boom, baby. All right, well that did decent damage to one of them. I got the zone I charged for it. 
Oh yeah, right, I don't want to be using that against you. I need some oomph. I got a spear for these types of things. Boom, all right. Boom, 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 eliminated. Now I can just focus on you on a one-on-one. -on -one. Best you in combat by mashing the Y button with the spear. Okay, hang on, I gotta make sure I time this because you got like an arrow and like a beam emitter. There you go. So I gotta not, I gotta not let you go. Okay, hang on, nope. Master Sword's power has been restored. That is some very fortunate timing for once. Woo! Good hit! All right, well, I got my Master Sword, unfortunately, for you, and that's gonna be even more powerful. Oh, don't knock this thing off, folks. You wanna hit it back? Nope, side on, back this way, please, so that way when it gets eliminated, ooh, this thing hurts. Guess that's why you're the captain, huh? You know how to lead the other ones around. There we go. Hey, there's meat up here. All right, there we go, that's the good stuff. Black Boko Spear. Okay, well, there's some. There's gotta be something I can drop. So what don't I need? Shock Emitter Club. I don't need that. Okay, Black Boko Spear. We'll take that. And then what's the deal with all this, huh? Open. Oh, the music has changed. That must mean that there's a dragon overhead. I'd love to go after that dragon right now, but it's just not convenient at the moment. I mean, it's never really convenient, but I'd, I'd have to plan a little better for it if I wanted to do anything with that dragon. All right. So I'm grabbing all these. Let's make sure I got a photo of this. I do. A mountain book. Yeah, you're looking at the dragon as well? By all means then, I'll leave you to it. Oh, yo, there's more. They're all over here. Well, cool, more Zonite charges for me then. Thank you. Okay, here we go, boom, 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 boom. Already eliminated. Sucks to be you, I suppose. All right, thank you. All right, we shall keep moving. Yeah, so the shrine was still up on that little upper blip. Yeah, I guess it'd be easy to miss it because from this perspective, you can't even see it. Had I not marked it, I totally would have lost track of it. I also wonder if this was the shrine that I saw in the previous part when I was up above. Could be. For now, we're just going to, we're going all around these ruins. Oh, there's a butterfly. Your Nobo! You didn't do anything wrong, that was all me. <laughs> it's to give you a hard time because you keep shooting in front of me and then you just keep attacking whatever's beyond that. All right, so we're gonna scare the bucks away. Don't you worry. Oh, hang on though. Hang on, there's like, you're carrying something. Oh, you're just carrying a bacoblet, okay. Well, that's, that's fine with me then. I mean, let's see what you intend to do, huh? You wanna come down? I do need to get a few more of you in order to upgrade some more pieces of equipment. How about that? There it goes. Oh yeah, that's that's how you do it, all right. There you go. Cool, oh, no, 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 no. Was that just a weapon that was falling? I wanna make sure I get everything. Okay, my bacoblin horn, my bacoblin fangs, and my aracuda eyeball and then my Aracuda wings. Thank you. Yeah, I need anything I can get now. Gonna hang on to everything. All right. So here's the shrine. I have made it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, let the wolves howl. It's fine, I'll be out of your way in a moment. I'm gonna take on this shrine. This probably won't be a blessing shrine. This shrine is just out in the open, so cool. I'll solve whatever puzzle or take on whatever challenge is within it. That'll restore all my hearts once I'm done. The Sikuku shrine. The Sikuku shrine. I don't know, because the, the, there's two U's after the second K. Okay. Oh, you can even see the little dragon over there to the right. That's a cool shot. I probably could jump off this rock and go after the dragon, but no, no, no. The Siku Koo Shrine calls to me. I'll knock this out, then I shall return to the depths and find the light root that corresponds with it. I might even go back to that chasm real quickly and get the light root that way. I don't know. All right, let's see what this is all about, huh? Oh, probably a recall shrine. Spinning gears. I do like gears. The gears in this shrine are spinning better than the ones that are in my head, that's for sure. All right, oh, and there's a ball. Okay, so yeah, so we wait for the ball to drop, like it's Happy New Year time, and then it's just gonna rotate it back and push the ball into the hole, right? Should be simple enough. This probably is meant to be a some something of a tutorial shrine because the game definitely wants the player or definitely like pushes the player toward going to the Rito region first. So you'd probably go to the Rito region and then you might go to the Goron region second. Basically what I'm saying is because this shrine is between the Rito region and the Goron region, it won't be a player's first shrine, but it could be a shrine that a player plays near the beginning. So this shrine will probably be a lot more straightforward than other shrines. Okay, I was about to like walk over and push that ball into the hole myself if it didn't fall in there faster. All right, so there, spinning gears, easy peasy. Hmm, but these gears are not spinning. Must I use Ultra Hand to get this going? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, so what happens if I go the other way? That probably is what I should do. So that way I can then use Recall on it to then go to the top. 
Now that's the end of the shrine, and that's nice and all. But where's the treasure chest? It's gonna be like over here or something, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll use recall on this. All right, I'll drop it. Or it's probably underneath this, potentially. So this will go up. Right, so if I were to be done with the shrine, that would be the end. But how much you want to bet that the treasure chest inside of the shrine is either underneath it? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna stand right here and see what happens, all right? Oh, I'll let that go up or something. Because eventually it's gotta go down. It's, got, it's gonna be down. I knew it. Yep, this is not my first shrine. Sorry to say. <laughs> but very cool. Yeah, kind of a nice hiding spot, though. All right, and then I don't really need this. I never need this, but... Uh, another long sword. Okay, we'll get rid of the gnarled stick. All right, so we can ascend out of here. Boom. Just knock that out. Then I'll be back right in front of that gear again. And then it's gonna be the same thing. So we'll take this, we'll rotate it. Hey, we'll rotate it this way for a moment. There you go. Okay, and then I'll jump on it. And then we use recall. Easy peasy. And then when I get to the top of this, I'll double check that that's the only treasure test inside the shrine because they, you know, they could have hit another one. But I'm willing to bet you it's the only one. And it is. All right, cool. Well, that's knocked out then. Folks, the Siku Ku Shrine had the honor of being my 120th shrine. Now, I suppose in this game, it being my 120th shrine doesn't really matter. But in Breath of the Wild, it would have been my last shrine. And then there would be a message coming up saying like, you have conquered all the shrines of Hyrule or whatever. I don't know. I just really like the shrines. I really like those puzzles. They make me feel smart whenever I conquer them. And the idea that they're almost over is kind of sad. You know, it's kind of sad. So let's think about this. I thought there were 132 shrines in this game. That would mean that there's 12 shrines left. And if I did two per part, I'd be done with shrines in six parts. At my pace, I've been doing like four per part. I mean, I did four in the previous part. So if I did four per part, not counting this one, I'd be done with the shrines in three parts. And that's that's kind of sad. But I think there's more than 132. Uh, it would be divisible by four. So if it's not going to be 132, it, it could be 152. 32 more shrines. They do two per part. I'm done with them in 16 parts. That sounds more plausible. Okay, but for now, that shrine, done. Cool. There's going to be a light route over here. So we'll put that down there. And I guess I'm ready to go back down here. So let's go to, let's go back to this light route. Now, uh, yes. Yes, let's go to this light route. I'll inspect the little green mark first. And then I'll go over to the bright blue mark that will be the light route. I do want to see what these ruins are in the depths. There could be a valuable item there or like a piece of armor or something. It, it just feels like the type of place where the designers or developers would hide something. Now, I don't have a mark from an old map indicating that something is there. But then again, I haven't found all the old maps yet. Because it, well, I, just in the previous part, for the first time, I found an old map that said, you've already found the treasure chest that corresponds to this old map. And I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So, whatever. <laughs> but I'm gonna go inspect this area anyway. And I also imagine that there will be a future part of this walkthrough where I'll go back through the depths in the Hyrule map and I'll just like fill in any other locations that I haven't filled in previously. Because as I was saying earlier in this very part of the Tears of the Kingdom walkthrough, that's something I had to do with Breath of the Wild. The last couple of parts of that walkthrough, at, at least the ones, it was like between parts 90 and 100, those parts were just me going around the Hyrule map and just seeing what else was around. So for now, I'm gonna head back over here. Hang on, there are some Poes over here. I'll go ahead and grab these. Look at all these Poes, folks. I'm almost at a thousand. What does that entail? Not much, but I'll be able to buy whatever I need with them. I can go back to Lookout Landing and cash them in or something. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if more stuff has even been added to the Lookout Landing Poe catalog thing. I'd have thought that maybe that would be the case as I find more light routes and light more of this place up, maybe more stuff would be added to the catalog. Like the game would say, oh, you found more than half the light routes in the game? That's pretty neat. Hey, do you want these pants that you can only get by spending pose on them? And I'd be like, sure, I'm trying to complete this game and I figure getting all of the armor parts would count as necessary completion for 100%, which is what I'm trying to do because I'm already in too deep. <laughs> I'm already biting off everything. Oh, see now if I get that, oh, in fact, this is, this is like a Yiga place, huh? There's like a grand po at the top. All right, I'll go ahead and infiltrate this place real quickly. I'll go ahead and do a quick detour, because I've already done two shrines and on a light route. 
Well, some gate you got here. I can just walk straight through it. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Is this roasted mighty bananas? There are bananas just sitting here, and you freaking cooked them to a crisp. Well, cool. One less thing that I'll have to cook in the future, then. Now, then, you want to play? You want to play ball? Actually, you know, I shouldn't fire an arrow at you. Oh my god. All right. Well, it's a good thing I upgraded these armor parts, huh? He's got some crazy cannon here, huh? Okay. All right. All right. You're not in the mood for jokes. Fine. We'll just fire an arrow at you. Dead already. All right. And now. Is the Yiga schematic I'm gonna get from here to make that little cannon blaster? Because that's pretty hype if, if that's the case. Here, I'll grab these more bananas, cool. All right, and what might be in here? All right, so two treasure chests, awesome. Come on, give me a star fragment, be really generous. Yiga schematic, all right. So let's see what it gives me, huh? Aerial cannon, okay. Still cool, nice. All right, and then let's let's see what's in the other one because it's not going to be a Yiga schematic. I mean, I guess, I guess it could be. I've never gotten two Yiga schematics from here. Large, oh, that's right. It is going to be large crystallized charge. Another form of currency down here. All right, now can I ascend through this? I don't remember. No, I don't think I can. Oh, oh, well, that was green for a second. Mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing. There, right there. All right, up through here, please. All the way to the top. There we go. Perfect. And then I just gotta get that. And then I can get this big old Poe right through here. This is mainly what I wanted. Yeah, the Yiga schematic is cool and all, but I'm taking that. Oh, we are almost to the thousandth Poe, folks. All right, so now we're gonna go this way for a moment. And then we're gonna kinda hug, if you're looking at the map in the lower right like I am, we're gonna, gonna kinda hug the perimeter here of this darker spot on the map. I'm gonna grab these Poes too, so I can be all the more closer toward a thousand. Nothing's gonna happen when I actually reach that number, except me being slightly giddy about it. All right, yeah, it's corrupting my heart. This armor's coming in clutch. All right, so the only way to really reach the ruins of this part of the depths is to go this way. Oh, <gasps> it's the dragon. Why? There's a chance for me to get apart from it yet. Okay, hang on. Maybe that's why these ruins are here. Can I ascend through this part? No, it's too high up. Wait, the dragon! The dragon! I can't get that high. Uh, I would have to drop into a chasm unless like something up here will let me. Uh, I'll have to let the dragon go. Nice to know that it flies through here though. All right, what's the deal with these like the part beneath the Typhlo ruins, the Gleok den? Oh God, what did I just walk into? Well, thanks for the bomb flower. Gleok den, huh? Am I gonna find a Gleok down here? Oh, yeah, I am. Hang on, so I got your photo already. Oh no, King Gleok? Oh God. Well, one last photo that I'll have to buy from Robbie. All right, let me make sure I'm well prepared for this. Hang on just a second. We're gonna change the armor out. So, we're gonna go to sort by the set. Boom, boom, boom. All right, if I'm gonna consume something, it should be the attack up skewer, and then I'll fuse some powerful monster part to one of my weapons. Shouldn't hold back on this fight, right? So here, horriblin' horn, sure. Drop that there, and then fuse it to... I guess some some sort of two-handed weapon, right? I guess that. Because once the, it's a Gleok, right? So once it comes down, oh, hang on. Once it comes down, then I'm just gonna go ham on it. All right, so with three attack ups and a two-handed weapon with a horrible horn at the end of it, I should be ready. I ain't gonna hold back. A Wooga! Let's go, King Gleok. If you're ready, I'm ready. All right, so I'm gonna just like use Keith's eyeballs on you and lock all the arrows to you, right? Right, I'm not, I'm not holding, oh, I've only got 17. Hopefully that'll be enough. I suppose I can always use element. Oh my God, it's all three elements, okay. I was just about to say, I can always use the elemental key eyeballs afterward. Probably not, probably not. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Oh, I can't run fast enough. I settled for attack up, not speed up, okay. I don't know if I even want your water shield side on. All right, let's go. Up, oh, there, okay, just keep it going. Keep it going, yep, I'm still going. Uh, good. There, all right, any more? No, that's all we need, okay. And now we go for a spin. I'm just gonna, oh my God, look at that power, look at that oomph. Oh, Wooga! Let's do it, oh my God. And just keep it going, keep it going. I just wanna be done with this. I am I am not messing around, all right? I'm not even gonna get close to you. I'm just gonna keep immediately going, oh. Okay, well the eyeball's still stuck to the arrow, that's good. Okay, let's go. Boom, thank you, all right. So it looks like it's two arrows per head. I can't even commentate, okay, hang on. Hang on, take your time, champ, take your time. Here we go, we got this, we got this, just go. Just don't hold back, don't hold back, just go. Use up all the key eyeballs. I can always get more in the future. 
I can always get more. Okay, I can always get more. Okay. Boom. All right, are they down? That's all three down. Okay, let's just power through this fight. All right, speed run. Thank you. I don't know if that was Unobo or Sidon wheeling on him, but I appreciate it. All right, and we are halfway done with the fight. There we go. There we go. I'm going to slay this King Gleok, and I'll be the king myself. I'll be the king of the Gleoks, baby. All right. May as well call me the Gleok Killer. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I'm about to run out of Keith's eyeballs. I, I think the elemental ones will have the same effect. Did that not even go through? Okay. Breathe. 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 Okay. Get away from that. I got my Keith's eyeball back. Okay, I got... No, that's not what I wanted. Whatever. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Here we go. I only got 25 arrows left, too. That should be enough. That should be enough, because I don't know how to damage the thing without arrows. Uh, where are my elements? Ooh, okay. I got a few different eyeballs I could attach. Uh, the most plentiful of which is the Ice Keys eyeball, so I guess I'll just go with that. All right, that probably gives an icy effect, which I don't care much for. If it deals more damage, fine. Oh, it's down! You're down already? Cool, all right. And now we go for a spin! This horrible horn is coming in handy! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! We can, uh, okay, one more cycle. Okay. Oh, good hit, Tulin! Was that you? Okay, all right, all right, all right. I haven't even taken that much damage on this fight. Hopefully I'm not jinxing anything. I would knock on wood if I wasn't <laughs> trying to control my heart rate right now. Oh no. What is about to happen? Okay, that ice key eyeball still connected. Will this one? Probably not. Normally there's like a fire nuke or an ice nuke or something. Are you about to do all three? Uh... I... Ah! 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 Okay, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Uh, I can't... Okay, am I just supposed to keep using the gusts of wind? Uh, I can get it from here, right, with a key, with an ice key eyeball? Oh, I'm so glad I have a bunch of these. That should connect, right? Just go, I'm just gonna fire a bunch of these and hope for the best. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Yes. All right. Is that enough? Is it coming down? It's coming down! Yeah, all right, then I'm gonna finish you off with one powerful blow! Ah, I don't need to do that. It's already dead. <laughs> but it'd be cool to do it anyway. All right, there we go. Woo, I powered through that fight. Ah. Oh, hang on, yeah, I do want the rewards, huh? Look at all this, all the elemental Gleok wings. All right, but there's not gonna be something called like King Gleok wing, is there? All right, let's see what you were guarding inside of that treasure chest. <sighs> okay, now I can breathe. Now I can breathe. All right, what's up, what's in here? Better be something good. It is the Cap of Twilight, which I think I already have, but I can now get rid of the mark that's here. That was something useful. Yes, yeah, so I've got Cap of Time. Oh, well, let's see. Sort by set. Let's go to the bottom. Cap of Twilight. No, I didn't have the Cap of Twilight already. I had the Tunic of Twilight twice. Well, cool. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually look like Link from Twilight Princess. And although putting this armor on will actually make me pretty defenseless right now, I'm comfortable wearing this for the remainder of the part. That was pretty cool! Uh, what an interesting boss fight that was. I used up all my Octorok eyeballs though, and I probably do need to buy some more arrows. I'll get more of those in due time. So let me go ahead and get to the next light route. And there will be more Gleoks down here, I'm pretty sure. There might even be another King Gleok. Well, I don't know. This place was explicitly called Gleok's Den, and it had a cap of Twilight in it after all that. Hmm. Oh, you know what, though, folks? You know what? If I go over here and gather these pose, this could very well be what I need to get my 1,000th pose! Woo! We are in the four digits for the pose. I hope you guys like it. Strike that pose! Oh, yeah! There we go. Just in time for my attack boost to wear off. Okay, so how the heck did I get in here? How the heck do I get out of here? I guess this is over here. All right, sorry. Getting detoured slightly was fine because it allowed me to get my 1,000th po. Hang on, no, I, I, I don't, no, oh, no, no, I'm headed in the proper direction. Out this way? Right, because I came in through like a little cave entrance. Okay, well, this is quite the arena. I'm just glad I had enough key eyeballs and enough arrows to do that because if I didn't have enough of either, that could have gone very, very awfully. I had to start using my ice keys eyeballs, which I wish I didn't have to, but I, I know I'll get more of them. 
I know I can get more of them. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. It's just because I need those supplies to upgrade armor and I don't want to be like one or two short and then have to do a whole big adventure to, over to the Hebra region just to kill one or two ice keys just to get their eyeball remains, you know? It's a whole thing. But they do serve a combat purpose in this game and that's pretty cool. Makes me more appreciative of how they actually made every item you pick up in this game more useful than they were in Breath of the Wild. Now then, we are going to want to go south so I can try and get... Wait, hang on, wait, was that a different type of enemy? There was something, was that, oh no, no, okay. So I was just looking at Tulin. Okay, sure, I'll use up my horrible and smash on you guys, boom. Okay. Wait, what did you, you should have dropped something, there we go. The Zonite, thank you. All right, now I can go ahead and switch back over to the Master Sword. Okay, now we continue running along the depths as Twilight Princess Link, which is a Zelda game, well, okay, I, I probably don't even need to get into this. I don't play many Zelda games. I played Breath of the Wild, now Tears of the Kingdom, Try Force Heroes, Four Swords, and like the first hour of Ocarina Time. <laughs> Twilight, like in due time, I probably will play more Zelda games. And you know, I'll have less of a reason not to do so if they ever put Twilight Princess and Wind Waker and all that on Switch, because obviously they put Skyward Sword on here, but Skyward Sword never had a re-release. Twilight Princess did with the Wii U. And there was like an old rumor that it was coming to Switch anyway, wasn't there? Also, why am I climbing up this? Oh, right, so I can glide off and have better better mobility along the ground. If I really wanted better aerial mobility, I'd put my, my gliding gear on, but that that's not necessary. We're just gonna keep going along here. We're gonna cut back to the Yiga place I was at earlier, and we're gonna go down toward the yellow mark. But yeah, one day I might just like binge a bunch of Zelda games, but until then, where am I going? The wrong way, apparently. I'm not going to the yellow mark. I'm supposed to be going toward the bright blue mark. Oops, so let's get out of the gloom for a second. We don't need to stand in all of that. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, here we go. All right, you know what? I could smash these open real quickly too. Here we go, boom. I oh, probably shouldn't be doing that with the Master Sword though. I got, I got stuff for that. I got smashers for that. Oh, well, uh, yeah, we want, we want this. Here we go. We need to boom, boom, there! More arrows! Less that I'll have to buy. More that I can use to fight another King Gleok in the future. I guess if I wanted to grind Gleok parts, the best way to do so would be to fight the King Gliok, right? Because it drops the frost, the electric, and the fire Gliok wings. And I know for a fact that I'm going to need some of those to upgrade my armor in the future. And fighting the King Gliok, if I'm as optimized and efficient as I was before uh, during that fight... Oh, I, didn't, I, I don't want to pick up a rock! Sorry, I'm just mashing A to try and pick up the pose. Oh, this, this little bug, though, I'm going to want that. Can I get to it in time? No, I got to treat it like it's a fairy. Okay. Hang on, though. A fire keys. That's useful. Okay, here. I can just get the shot. If I can just get the shot. There we go. Now I can get an extra fire key eyeball. I can get over to it in time. And the fire key wings, of course, of course. But the eyeballs serve a better utility purpose because they allow me to aim. Okay. You know, is there something sparkly here? Is that my arrow? Hey, I got my arrow back. I like that I can get my arrow back. Thank you, developers and designers, for allowing me to do that. All right. Well, let's just get to this here light route. And it looks like there's a little tower over here, which usually means that they're... Oh, hang on. Actually, this little statue being here is useful because that will allow me to grab a weapon. Let's see what we got. Is this something I've gotten before? It's more exciting with something new, but I think I'm running out of weapons I haven't gotten before. Soldiers claim more. And it's a two-handed weapon to boot. I mean, look, using a two-handed weapon against that King Gliok was very, very handy, but I definitely prefer my one-handed weapons. Okay, here we go then. I'm ready. I'm gonna get to this. Oh, whoa, maybe I'm not as ready as I thought. I don't want to use any more arrows to light up the place, though. So, oh, wait, no, 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 We're gonna go back to by most used. Actually, how far up did that push the ice key cycle? All the way up here? Funny. All right, but the giant bright bloom seeds, or just the regular bright bloom seeds, definitely deserve the spot of being my most used item, because I've been using that to get through the depths. All right, here we go. Yeah, they really thought of different ways to use every item. Key eyeballs locking onto things and providing an elemental utility at times if you attach the other ones to it. But do I have to go up? I think I gotta go up. Okay, hang on. Throw that over there for a second. All right, hang on. I'm like standing right where it's supposed to be. I guess it is further up though. All right, Twilight Princess Link, we're climbing. There we go. We're ascending, so it's a little less climbing that I have to do. But now we can do boom, and here it is, the light route. All right, I'm gonna take a breather while I go ahead and claim the Ukukus Light Route.
All right, that's a nice part of the map being filled in. Oh, I thought I took it off the bubble frog. Did I ever take my thing off the bubble frog? Okay, I'll fix that. That would explain why I wasn't, why the shrine radar wasn't blinking when I got closer to that other shrine. Okay, hang on a second. So we want to go ahead and change that back to the shrine of light. And now we're going to go toward the red mark. So we'll go ahead and get that light route real quickly. And then, depending on how things go, I might do one more light route, and then I'll go cash in my lights of blessings and then go ahead and prepare to conclude this part. All right, but I will say, Twilight Princess Link does look pretty good in this game. Because, you know, normally I'm not all about the dark and the gritty and all that, but I do like how the, the lighting and the shading makes it look in this game. It's pretty nice. Also, I guess I could have used, you know what? We're gonna use auto build for this. Hang on, my favorite. One of these, right? Yeah, just right there. What do you mean I don't have enough room to build with auto build? What are you, what are you talking about? Just that. There you go. Build that, please. Wait, no. No, hang on. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to build like my favorite hot air balloon thing. Hang on. Not just the most recent thing, silly. I want my favorites. One of these, please. There you go. For just 19, for just nine? Oh, that's even better. Build that, please. There we go. And we're gonna use this while playing as Twilight Princess designed Link to go toward the red mark. So we're gonna head off here. I got my little flame emitter sticking out there. All right. Oh yeah, I do have large Zonai charges, don't I? So we'll go ahead and get that out. All right, I gotta sort by type and then go to the bottom. Okay, here we go. So we'll do boom. There we go. Up and at him. We move. Yes, bring me on up high. There we go. All right, folks. I think I see the light route barely visible behind that little leaf tree thing. Yep, that's it over there. All right, we're moving. We are moving. All right, it is slightly higher up. So the, whoa, what is going on? Why is my flame emitter going all over the place, but not inside the hot air balloon? Well, as long as I'm still ascending, that works. It looks like the hot air balloon is, is well lit. Okay, here we go. All right, just keep it going. If it's, oh, is it because it's, it's warmer over here? Is that really a mechanic in this game? Because it gets hotter over here, the hot air balloon can't last as long? That's kind of funny if that's the case. Oh, I'm, I'm on fire. I don't think I can keep the Twilight Princess outfit on for much longer. Oh, that is, that is definitely draining my hearts. That is definitely draining my hearts. Okay, fine. Fine, you win. Okay, here. Let's go to the weapons are fine. I just need to change the armor. Okay, so I should have fire resistant. Yeah, like flame resistant this. There you go, flame guard. All right, if I just put that on, am I okay? No, it's just too hot. It is too hot over here. So I gotta put, I gotta put all this on. All right, there. Now, hopefully I won't set on fire anymore. Let me just get this light route and then I can get the heck out of here. Yeah, you probably wouldn't even be able to get this light route if you didn't have flame armor. You were probably intended to get this light route by coming in from the opposite direction, from the eastern side of Hyrule near the Gorons, because you were supposed to get this armor that I'm currently wearing from over there, and they even make a point about like, oh, if you want to wander this part of the region, you got to make sure you have this armor. Well, I have this armor, okay? Now I'm going to proceed to go ahead and climb this dark wall here in this volcanic region and try to get this light route, and then I may be so brave enough to try and get one more light route in this part if I have enough time to do so. That way I can be properly aligned with concluding this part and be ready to not do the depth in the next part, potentially. All right, so up. Hang on, hang on. There's gotta be a place where I can stand like over here just for a second. These embers, this is making it rough. But hey, going around to the right allows me to see the light route. I see the light. I'm gonna walk toward it. Oh, I don't wanna deal with you right now, choo-choo. Not right now. We're just gonna run through the gloom. Okay, we're moving. We're moving, we're wandering the depths, and it is oh so hot. I didn't know it was worse than just wandering around in the darkness. Like, but I guess wandering around in the darkness while it's hot sounds so miserable. Sweating in darkness, can you imagine? Jesus. All right, here we go though. We're up, we're going. All right, hey, 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 hey. All right, to the light route. At least I got to this one in a pretty decent time. The Kayam light route. I respect the fact that its name is so short as well.
All right, it's getting filled in, but I do sense a little circle down in the lower right. I suspect another light route will be there, and that is probably gonna be the last light route that I get in this part, right? Something like over here, let's see. Oh, I guess it would be this. Ah, I could probably do two more light routes then, so there's this shrine, and then there's this shrine. So I can get both those light routes real quickly. Yeah, so we'll do red, and then we'll do green, and then that should fill in this part of the map, because the rest of this will be filled in, and then I'll be comfortable enough to wind my way over to here and be ready to visit good old Terrytown or Tarrytown or however you pronounce it. All right, here we go. Let's go to the red. All right, let's go to the red. We're gonna be in the volcano ashes for a little longer and it's gonna be real, real miserable. You know what though? The Elden Dark Skeleton? Didn't I go to a place with that name already? There we go. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna eliminate you real quickly because why the heck not? Wait, why am I blowing wind? Because it's just so hot, you can't, you have to blow the wind? Okay, here. There, right in the head. Burn him, burn him. Boom, oh, I'm using, I'm not using a weapon I want to be using. I don't want to use the stone axe. I want to use this. Okay, I want, I want to spear him up. There you go. Drop more of those horrible parts. That's the good stuff. Okay, I'll use the last of my spear on you, let's go. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Sidon, you want to you wanna spear him as well? He's even holding a spear that I'll use in a second. Here, master sword, boom, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's a halberd. It's a two-handed weapon. Okay, there we go. Got the horribling claws. Very good. Yeah, that, that that halberd just went flying up here, huh? You could not make this easy to grab. Not even certain that I want it, but probably better to have it and not need it. That, 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 that whole speech. Okay, so I've gotten that. Hang on, wait. But there's this light right here. What the heck hit me? Hey! Don't you dare hit me. Don't you dare hit me, especially while I'm using my binoculars or whatever I'm doing. That's it, I'm gonna come back up just to slay you, all right? You you asked for this, you could have let sleeping lynx lie, but instead, you have decided to engage in combat, and I will not see to it that I get through this unresolved. All right? Yeah, okay, all right, all right. You got a good throwing arm. You ever thought about trying out for baseball? Or American football? Heck, even basketball? All right, you know what? I don't even have to fight you. I am going out of my way just to eliminate you, all right? Bring it horrible in here. This is what you wanted. Oh yeah, you know how to change the pressure of your throws? That's exciting. There. Zonite and Horribling Claws, very good. All right, and then, what is this? Rusty hal Halberd Spear thing, okay. Anyway, what was I looking at? This. So, time out. So there's, okay, then I, I guess I'll get these three light roots. I had a feeling there was like a little circle here. Okay, I can get these three light roots real quickly. So I'll start with this one down here. I won't be able to make a little hot air balloon though, will I? Because the heat is like messing that up. I probably can do the thing where I strap a rocket to my shield and then raise myself up into the air because I'm gonna have to go back up. And I think it's safe to assume that I can't swim in the lava. So therefore my Zora armor that allows me to swim up waterfalls will not apply to swimming up a lava flaw. Though there is a little like, almost like a little camp over there where I can probably use uh, auto build to design something. Okay, hang on. There's like a lot of stuff. There's, like, there's. okay, so I got this. Hang on a second. I'm gonna see, cause there's, there's another light route over there, but it seems a little dark. Did I not get that one? Let me land over here and then look up and see if I can mark that one. Cause if that's the case, well then folks, I guess I'm just gonna do like four more light routes in this part. Why the heck not? I thought the King Gleok fight was gonna be the focus or it'd be like the focal point. It, it kind of is, but if, if there's more light routes down here, I'll go get them. Yeah, I didn't do enough exploration over here. I guess I said I'd do it one day. Well, today is the day. So, boom. Let's go ahead and mark in this light route, the Katoige light route. And is there a shrine up top that I did with it? No. Golly. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Boom, nice, and there's like a very clear area of where I'm supposed to go next. 
Well, normally whenever I find a light root and I discover that there's a shrine up on the surface that doesn't cor that I haven't done yet that corresponds with it, I go and do the shrine next. So maybe that's what I ought to do here. So I guess I should warp over to Death Mountain and then glide down to this area. And I'm all out of markers, aren't I? Darn. Okay, so real quickly, I'm gonna borrow the red marker. We're gonna go ahead and set that here, and we're gonna warp back up for up to Death Mountain, folks. I guess I'm not just doing my 120th shrine in this part. I'm going beyond. I'm doing my 121st shrine in this part as well to help indicate the fact that this game is bigger than Tears of the Kingdom. All right, so let's go do this shrine real quickly. Let's go ahead and knock it out, and then I'll go and do the other light roots, and then that should be a comfortable place to conclude this part. And I'm willing to bet you that I missed this shrine because it's probably inside of a cave. But hey, I've got the shrine radar now. When I was initially over here in the Goron region, I did not have my shrine radar. Plus, conquering this shrine will allow me to replenish my hearts. So, usually if it's inside of a cave, well, it's not even usually, oftentimes when it's inside of a cave, it's a blessing shrine. So I can just walk in, grab whatever treasure chest is there, and then immediately conquer the shrine and get my hearts refilled. It's okay if it's not a blessing shrine, but in this case, I kind of want it to be just because I'm doing a shrine so late into this part and I still have other light routes I'd like to, you know, visit and accomplish. Uh, essentially, for selfish reasons, just because this walkthrough part has gone on for so long and I would still like for the focal point to be that King Gliok battle that I absolutely crushed, by the way, I would like to just have this upcoming shrine be a blessing shrine. I'd like to find it quickly, I'd like to conquer it quickly, and then I'd like to move on and find the light routes and then be done with this walkthrough part. That said, I'm hoping that the remaining, I don't know, 20 or so shrines in this walkthrough aren't all blessing shrines. I'm hoping that they're not all just in caves. It would make sense that they were all in caves. It would make sense if I found all the ones on the surface already, but you know, I, I I like doing the puzzles. I like solving things and I like seeing what, what challenges the designers have in store and it's not fun when it's just, well, you found the cave, you found the shrine. That was the challenge. And it's like, okay, well, you know, it, just kind of hoping for a little more, but fine. So for, for, for right now, I'm hoping that this is a blessing shrine, but I'm also hoping that this is like the last one or one, you know, like one of the last, second to last, third to last one. Anyway, uh, I, I, at first I thought this was the cave entrance. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Yunobo, go ahead. Yeah, that's not gonna be the cave entrance. Ah, but it was blocking a rare ore deposit. That I can smack with this weapon, right? I'm using a rock open, there we go, amber. Ooh, rubies and a topaz. Oh, that was a valuable one. All right, cool. Now, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that because that, that's an easily accessible rare ore deposit that I can get just by gliding over here. And if the shrine really is beneath me, I should just be able to ascend and easily grab it in the future, right? Now, my first instinct would be, oh, you know what I can do actually? I was gonna say the entrance to the cave might be on the cliffside. I can actually open the Hyrule Compendium and I, like this, this just came to me. I can open the Hyrule Compendium and mark a bloopy and that will bring me to the cave's entrance. And that way I won't get confused with the actual shrine radar. I'll actually be able to find the entrance. And in theory, you know, if, the, if there's multiple cave entrances around here, then fine, th there'll be multiple bloopies, whatever. But if there's just the one cave over here, I should be able to find the one bloopy, and then I should be able to find the entrance. Now it's not going off as I head this direction. It's not going off as I head down here. So I guess it's not over this way. It's back up this way. Okay, so maybe the entrance to the cave is not on the cliffside. And hey, I'm not opposed to that. And it would further explain why I didn't see this shrine on the way to the Goron region anyway, because I wandered along this cliffside and I did like a shrine. I fought a Henox and sub, you know, whatever. But if the entrance to the cave that contains the shrine is not on the cliffside, then it must be more mainland. And my bloopy radar is, is still blinking. It's still blinking. It's still, bl it's going. It's, hmm. Hmm, Octorok. You can't hide from me, buddy. I know you're here. Yeah, what happens if I try to fuse? Ugh, I just gotta pick this up. Buddy, I know you're here. Come, engage with me. Engage with me for a moment, would you? I like that I'm spewing a gust of wind every time I strike. Makes me an airbender in this fiery region. Oh, okay, I don't like that as much. All right, hi. hang on, hang on, hang on. What if, okay, hang on. I have an option, I have options. I have options in life and that's such a good thing to be able to have. Okay, here. What if I, oh, hey. Thank you for that. Okay, what if I do this? All right, and I, okay, you, you, you beat it. Good job, I'll take the amber. What if I do this? 
Come on up. And boom. There, eliminated. Now I get myself Octo Parts. Cool. All right, so which way am I going? This way? Still? All right. I can do that. I shall do that. Oh, <gasps> I see it. I see the bloopy. You're telling me the cave entrance all the way over here is gonna bring me to that shrine? Because this is, this is the only bloopy that registered. Sorry about this, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Okay, well, I'll take a rupee. I'll take a couple more rupees. Boom, okay. As long as I see the other colored rupees come out, that helps. All right, I guess I was supposed to take a mine cart over to here. Whoa, hey, look at all the keys. Hang on a second. What if I do this? Boom, baby! Getting all my key eyeballs back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There, it's like I never lost them. Alrighty, so now, let's go ahead and get another bow out. That's the way to do it. You wanna fight a King Leoc? Stock up on arrows, stock up on key eyeballs, just like that. Woo! All right, ah, hello here. Let's see, I guess this will go around, huh? All right, well, it was kind of out of the way, so I don't feel bad about missing this, but, oh, no, 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 not the rock. I need the fan, please. Thank you. All right. All right, here we go. Boom. Ready? I'm ready. Oh yeah, let me switch weapons while I'm on here. Okay, so we're gonna go back to, I guess, you. Here we go. And we're just gonna go for the ride. All right, now if I see a little alcove that could contain a bubble gem, I'll get it. Oh, here we go. Boom. I could go back and get those fire key swings, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Hmm, this, this, this definitely goes a long way. That bubble gem could be hidden anywhere. I'm gonna assume that the shrine is at the end of it. Oh, there is another minecart path, huh? So be it. Let's continue along. I should have expect. oh. Got it. Well, we're going along, we're, we're just gonna go this way now. In fact, we're gonna hop off here. All right, you wanna do this? You're, you're just a fire, fire-like, right? Okay, well first, I would like this treasure chest that's behind you. I'm just gonna grab this one quickly. Please don't be a weapon, anything but a weapon. Okay, ah, uh, I don't want a weapon. But I suppose it's more useful than the rusty Claymore Halbert. That's probably not even true. Here. All right, let me go ahead and then get... Actually, I just have, I have this, right? I can just use this to, to eliminate you. Here you go. Here you go, boom, boom, boom. There you go. Weakness exposed. And then we'll just go ahead. Uh, I can just use a regular rusty Claymore for this. Here you go. And we can do boom, boom. Boom. It should just like destroy you, right? If I just do like that. Boom, just like that. Okay. Did I have to fight you? No, but I did. So I can get the stone, the fire fruit, and whatever's inside the treasure chest. Please don't be a weapon, but it usually is a weapon. A shield, okay, well it's not a weapon, I guess. But all right, here, let's temporarily drop this. And let's drop the steel Lysel shield to make sure I have a picture of it. Cause I've been getting like newer and newer shields still. Oh, I already have it. Okay, well then we're taking the Zonite shield. Okay, I'm, I shouldn't be stuck here though, right? Oh, hang on. Oh, the unbearable heat. Thanks, folks. Okay, so I'm taking these fire key eyeballs. We've already established how useful those are. Okay, so now, do I gotta go all the way back around if I want another go at this? Hang on. Put that there. Hello. I thought that was gonna hit you. That's why I tried it. I don't want to really have to go all the way back around, but if that's what it takes, so be it. All right, we take the mine cart, move it back over here. Here we go. And then we can do, boop. Okay, and then I need my fans. Thank you, all right, I just need one good fan, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, designers, for not leaving me stranded here. It's obviously a fail safe for me to warp out of here, but, but I don't have to do that, that I can just move on. Let's go, up and at him. All right, but yeah, I guess going to the left will bring me closer to the shrine. So what does this path do? Oh, this this just allows me to go back around until I hit it properly. Oh, am I about to slam into the other minecart I had previously? Yep. Boop. Okay, stop, stop. Traffic jam. We're just gonna hop over into this one. There you go. And now we move. It's what I would say if this were to function properly. So this isn't even on it. Okay, here. This like is completely stuck. Okay, so you know what then? You know what? We're gonna put this up here. Boom. And we're just gonna continue on with our days, okay? Goodbye. I was gonna say, I should not be going to the right. We're gonna go this way now. 
All right, we're gonna find the shrine. We're gonna do the bubble gem. I'm gonna cash in my lights of blessings. I might even go do another light root or two, and then this part will be over. All right, whoa. There's a lot of stuff in this room. All right, hang on. I found the bubble gem. Here you go. So now I can do that. Boom. All right, and now I gotta find the shrine that's at the end of all this. So I got the bubble gem. We don't gotta worry about that anymore. I just need to see then, is there anything else special about this room? Well, thankfully they gave me another minecart so I can actually leave. All right, here. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We're gonna go back to the sensor. Shrine of light. There we go, because I don't need the bloopy anymore. Thank you, bloopy. Thank you for the rupees. Okay. So, let's put this back over here. Boop. Oh, no, 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 that has to be on correctly. Sorry, I was so used to the minecart snapping that I thought it would just go on automatically by default. And sure, fire keys. Come on into here. Anyone else want to hit it? Side on? Oh my god. You guys. You we're focusing on enemies that are further away, and I appreciate that, but that's not what I need right now. All right, whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's see. So the shrine is gonna be that way or something? Okay, hang on, we're going around. Oh, I see it! I found the shrine! Well, I'm gonna try and do it without a minecart then. There you go, I see it! Cool, kind of a neat place to hide a shrine, all things considered. Oh, but I have your picture, right? Rock Octorok, yep, I sure do. I remember you. Okay, so there's nothing stopping me from simply gliding over here and climbing up this wall. I have the stamina to do it, and I have all the allies to allow me to get aerial mobility, and I've got Unobo to hit the targets if I wanted to. I'm sure there's a whole thing where you're supposed to use Unobo to hit the targets and change the paths and all that stuff, but I would, I, I just think this is faster. I also don't suppose that there was a walking path here the entire time. Oh no, there's, there's not. There's just a bunch of stuff I can grab if I wanted it. Right, bloom seeds and the like. Well, okay, the Geotac Shrine. Just making sure there's not a rare ore deposit here, because I feel like there totally could be one. But surprisingly enough, there isn't one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the shrine. This could be a blessing shrine. It's inside of a cave. Usually they've been blessing shrines, but they don't have to be. Let's just see what this shrine has to offer, because if it still has a challenge in store for me, oh, then I'll just go in and dominate it right now. And then we'll return to the depths. We'll get the light roots, cash in the lights of blessings. And then that'll make for a nice, big, juicy part of my Tears of the Kingdom walkthrough. It is a blessing shrine. That is fine. I'm hoping that the remainder of the shrines in this walkthrough are not all just blessing shrines, but this one being a blessing shrine, I'm okay with that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. Boom. What do we got? Magic staff. Oh, I was really hoping it wasn't a weapon. Okay. I like it better when it's a gemstone. But I suppose a magic staff has its uses, but I do want the royal broadsword back up. Hang on. So we're gonna drop this. I know I can always buy more using the pose, and I have over a thousand of them now, so I totally could do that. And we're gonna use this opportunity to fuse, I don't know, fuse attack power. Sure, one of these two. I'll fight more Horriblins in the future, I imagine. Silver one at that, cool. We got power. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get my Light of Blessing, that'll restore my hearts, and then I'm getting out of here, and I'm going back to the Light Roots. I'm going back to the Depths, all right? And if there is another light root that I find that corresponds with the shrine that I haven't done, then I'm gonna have to save it for the next part because this part's gone on long enough. I'm, I'm, I thought I was moving out of these parts being an hour and a half long, but like the past six parts of this walkthrough have all been an hour and a half, so whatever. Just got a lot of stuff to do in this walkthrough, but I'm making good progress and that's all I can really be grateful for. All right, I mean, I got a lot of things to be grateful for, I suppose, but for the time being, as far as this part of the walkthrough is concerned, I'm just glad. I'm getting stuff done. It's less work that I have to do in the future. That means the final few parts really can just be devoted to like upgrading my armor and getting all the Korok seeds and fighting all the Taluses and Lynels and Henoxes and whatever, Gleox, whatever. All right, so we're back out. This is a neat shrine and all, but I don't know how frequently it's gonna benefit me to warp to it. Still, it's no wonder that it was tricky for me to find. It's a whole thing to go and get it. I guess I can still smash this open real quickly and get myself some amber. That's a whole lot of amber. All right, fine, I'll smash these open as well. Boom. Rock salt, that's a decent amount of rock salt. Two pieces of flint. Relatively, that's not a whole lot. And I'll smash these ones open real quickly. I like it more when it's the amber. See, like that one. And an opal, that, that's even better, better. Okay, I know there's more I can smash open, we gotta get a move on, huh? We, we gotta move. So, there's this light route that corresponds with the shrine that I've done, and then there's this light route that, uh does correspond with the shrine I've done, because it's the one in Goron City. Okay, so what I think I should do, I think I should go up here to the Mustis Light Route. No, go up further, 
go to the shrine, drop down the chasm, and then see if I can glide over to the light route. I think that'll be my fastest and most convenient way to try to access it. So let's give this a try. And then it looks like I'll be getting my 74th and my 75th light routes. And ending on a 75th light route, that's pretty cool. Ending things on a five or a zero, like I'm, I'm down for that. That's a good way of organizing things. But I also think like I'm probably gonna get my 76th and possibly even my 77th light route in this part. So that won't be as nice, but like whatever. I was, you know, I'm gonna end this part with 121 shrines. That's not super convenient. Although the number 121 is, is kind of interesting because you, back in the day, I'm, I'm trying to think about how I wanna like put the words to this. Back in the day, the number 120 seems to be a significant number for Nintendo. There were 120 stars in Super Mario 64. There were 120 shrines in Breath of the Wild. It just seemed like a nice number that seemed like beefy enough to make a game seem like it was full of content. And it worked for both of those games. And even Super Mario Galaxy has 120 stars. But, ah, hang on, am I gonna hit the bottom? I guess we keep going. I gotta go north. Okay, well, we'll, we'll head north. I should be able to head north. There's not gonna be like a wall or something, right? I should be fine. Okay, so I just gotta maneuver through this. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hold that thought about the number 120. Hang on a second. All right. Hang on. Which, which, which way is actually down? This way? Okay. So obviously the number 100 is significant because it's the first three-digit number. That's a lie. You know, it, it takes time to get to 100 of anything. But 120, like that that's just like a good number for things. A nice, organized, even number, beefy. It's not the cliche number 100. All right. So 120, pretty cool. Uh, hang on, that's not the light route I marked. That's a slightly different direction. That, oh, there's like another little circle here. That light route's gonna correspond with this shrine. Okay, well then I probably am doing at least three more light routes in this video. Okay, anyway, so in Super Mario Galaxy, there were 120 stars, but ah, after you collected all 120 stars as both Mario and Luigi, you unlocked a level where you could get the 120 first star. And so, you know, going one beyond is kind of something that Nintendo likes to do that feels like it has significance. Kind of like how there's 151 Pokemon. So you can see that there's over 150 Pokemon in the first generation, right? Like, there's 150 or more to see. You know, st stuff like that. So being able to say that you have over 120 stars in Mario Galaxy is kind of cool. Basically what I'm getting at is the fact that I now have my 121st shrine conquered in this part of my Tears of the Kingdom walkthrough, that's pretty cool. I'm going beyond Breath of the Wild, and it all starts with the first number after where Breath of the Wild ended. Does that make sense? Whatever. Katy Jabis light route. Hopefully my my conversation about numbers holds some relevance to someone. All right, it's coming along. I think if I hug the northern part here, yeah, that's gonna be what I have to do because that's, that's where the light route is. Okay, so we'll hug the north. North, north, I know which direction north is. It's the upward one. It's up, up in the world. All right. And as much as I'd love to use a hot air balloon to try and prevail and get to the next light route with ease, it's just not gonna work in this part of the map. That's why I went through that chasm. I can go down, but going up is a much trickier task. All right. I now have 1,020 pose. Kind of interesting based on the fact that I now have 121 shrines. You know what I mean? It's like you stuck a zero between the one and the two. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, there, there. All right, as long as my equipment doesn't catch on fire and as long as they don't randomly run off into some lava, I will be fine. I will be just fine. All right, so we're just gonna see how Smoothly I can navigate these parts. There's a part of me that thinks that like I could jump and I'll start gliding because the fumes coming out from the rocks makes it kind of look like a uh, a gust of wind, sort of. But no, that's just the game's effect to tell me it's really, really hot down here. Now, 
if I just keep climbing, I can get to the 75th light route. You know, if that dragon came in through here, it's not going to go into the volcano, I don't think, but if that dragon came in here, usually there's a gust of wind surrounding the dragon, so it makes it easier for me to shoot it and get a scale or a, a claw or something from it. But I guess I'll have to worry about dragons another time. I get no assistance here. It's just me and my own wits and my own supplies. Now, thankfully, I'm plenty powerful. I've got fairies and the like, but hang on. What's, what's going on over here? Oh, just more enemies? I don't really need to engage with you. I'm I'm north enough. I can even see the light route over here. I, I'm ready to just like get this light route and then get on with my life. Oh darn it, I needed a little more. There we go. Push myself further there. There we go. See? Aerial mobility. The fastest method of travel. And I'd have my gliding gear on if it wasn't so burning hot down here. <laughs> but it's okay. I will be fine. We will keep it going. We will go and do this. There. Hey. No, 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 no. Okay. And now we can go get another gust of wind. We're moving. We're moving up, up. Keep it going. All right, now we run. Go ahead, let the gloom consume me. But I shall soon be at the light route, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I do want this. I do want this. All right, what's 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 the deal with this, huh? Traveler sword, that's good. That's a one-handed weapon. Uh, Throwing spear, but it's sparkly. We're gonna, we're gonna ditch that. Thank you. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, so I should be able to just glide from here. My gust of wind is back in action. Thank you, Tulin. Thank you, Tulin. Okay, I'm gonna throw one, count it, one bright bloom seed. All right, right there, right there. I can just run from here, we're good. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it, and then we're gonna be out of the heat and moving on with my life. And this part of the map should be decently filled in. There might still be like one or two areas where I need to find light routes. There's plenty of shrines over here, but for now, we're gonna focus on the Tayamik light route and we're just gonna move on with everything. And indeed, we are moving on. There is a very clear circle, or a very dark circle, un whatever. There's a very clear spot where the next light route is going to be. I, I, I guess I can go and get it. This part has already gone on so long, and the more stuff I do in this part, the more I get stuff done, but the more it takes away from the King Gleok fight that I always oh, so dominated. But it's fine, it's fine. The more work I do now, the less work I have to do later, and then I can go over here to Tari Town or Terry Town or however you pronounce it. All right, I'll be over here in due time. I'm getting stuff done. I, you said I would get this light route too, huh? Okay, I'll do them both, I'll do them both. So I'm gonna... <laughs> Okay, I already clicked on the button. I'll go ahead and get this light route now, and then I can figure out if I want to go over to that circle up there and get that light route. I probably should, because I'm already here in the Goron region, and it would be weird to just have one light route remaining when I said I wanted to focus on getting the light routes in this part. Whatever, let's just, let, let's just go to this one. All right, let's get this light route. Let's see how I'm feeling. I already got your photo, okay. Let's see how I'm feeling, and then we'll play it by ear afterward, all right? I'm gonna fight fiery enemies with watery enemies, and I'm just gonna see if I can trigger a flurry rush? That didn't quite work. Oh, you're just gonna throw rocks at me. All right, well, if you're throwing rocks, I, I, ain't, I ain't down to vibe with that. Oh, whoa! It does gloom damage, too, because you touched it, I guess? Unless you threw a gloomy rock at me? There you go, knock them all over. All right, so I gotta break the armor on these guys so that my allies here can even deal damage to them. I gotta I got do the first step so you guys can do the- Oh my god! Okay, yep, it does gloom damage to me if you get hit down here at all. Instant gloom damage! Whatever. Okay. If I defeat the boss, Bacoblin, that's easy enough. But it's the other guy that have the- Oh, oh, I got the flurry rush! You're so dead! You're so dead! Oh, okay, well, you're lucky I got a two-handed weapon, so it's a little slower, but that should be a beefy, decent chunk of damage! That's what I'm talking about! And now let's go for a spin! Oh, does spinning not knock you over? Okay. Well, that'll knock you over, and good hit, Tulin. All right, I got my Master Sword ready. No more spitting. I mean, I could if I still held down the Y button. Oh, a Cobble Crusher? Cool. There we go. Glad they take all of those. That's the good stuff. And you know what? Do I need anything else over here? No, Soldier's Broadsword, no. 
I'll take all these. More Bacoblin stuff. Why not? And you guys were using a bunch of one-handed weapons, huh? I actually would rather have that than the boomerang. That ain't doing too much for me, so I'll take the sword. Thank you. Okay. Nothing else? Nothing else. Okay, so there's some pose. Not really... Uh, you know, I got a lot of pose right now, but because I'm just getting ready to end this part, and I know I've been saying that for a while now, but because I actually am trying to get ready to end this part, I don't want to detour too much for any additional pose right now. You know, I'd like to start cashing them in to see how much I actually need anymore. Darn it. Come here, you. There, got that one at least. All right, and then I'll take these. Boom, 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 boom. Am I supposed to use a minecart to, to move on? Darn it. Hey, thank you. I do appreciate that these things just drop bright bloom seeds. That's interesting. Okay, I don't need to pick up every single thing that every single one is dropping. Now, if I need a minecart to get to the light route, then I'll use it. But if I don't need one, well, then I'm not using it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on. Take it easy. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I've never, I've never gotten a picture of that. It had a different name. It had, it had, whatever. I'll see another one in the future or I can always buy it from Robbie. All right. You guys just like never know when I'm actually like asking you to kill something and asking you not to kill something. All right. Where's the light? It's going to be up, isn't it? How far up were we talking? Uh, hmm. Because it would be, it would correspond with this. Here. I'm gonna go around the side over. Okay, you know what? No, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna defeat you first. How about that? Hey! Knock it over. Never mind. You know what? Fighting, fighting you, this is the lesson I need to learn. Don't pick fights with everybody. <laughs> All right. I don't got time for that. I just need to get this light route and I need to be done. All right. So here, if I throw a giant bright bloom seed like over there, what do we got? Okay, now I'd love to use a hot air balloon, but do I even need one to get to where the light route currently is? Is it gonna be up? It probably is up there. That's kinda, that's kinda messing me up. That it's above me, but I don't have an easy way to use anything to actually get up there. Oh, well, you just want me to climb stuff, I can. I can, I can try to do that. All right, what are you gonna supply me with over here? Because I, I thought we established that a hot air balloon wasn't really gonna work, and it's not. You're not really giving me a hot air balloon. You're giving me a little platform and some rockets. Well, I admit, that's a little more fun. All right, so we'll do it this way then. So we'll get one on that side. We'll get the control pad over here, okay? So here we go, boom, yeah, okay, yeah, so I guess that hot air balloon thing is a, is a thing. You can't use a hot air balloon in the volcano area. It just does not go. Good to know. Okay, so we'll get that. And then am I gonna need wheels? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Um, little stone slabs, that's interesting that you're gonna give me that. Wheels, and then a battery. Okay, I'll take a battery. And if I go up, straight up from here, I'm not gonna hit the ceiling, right? I'm just gonna go up. Okay, well. Oh, I made this face the wrong way, whatever. Up and at him. We're going, we're going, we're going. The light ring was above me! Okay. How do I get up here? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to climb this. Okay, did my stuff just fall back straight down? Yes, it did. Hmm. Are there any more rockets, perhaps? No, there are no more rockets. Darn it. It is up there, though. Hooey, hooey, hooey. There's not like a chasm entrance over here, I don't think. Well. This comes down to me then. I don't mind using my own rockets out of my own inventory. Give me one second though. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna need like three of them, probably, right? Materials, so we'll do boom. Oh wait, no, no, it'd be zone devices, sorry. Oh, I only have four. Well, we'll do three and a battery then. There you go. All right, so let's see what happens. We do one, right? With more rockets, does it make it go higher? Does it make it stronger or anything like that? Okay. Two, I'm using up my rockets here. All right. And then we'll do three, and then put this battery on it. All right, right there on that side. All right, let's go. Oh, we still got both batteries, okay. It doesn't, it can't even go that high. I can't gain the extra height. Don't tell me I gotta glide. Cause I can't wheel it up there. It's, it's, I need to like get over it. I need to get over it. All right. 
All right, so now I have a higher starting point so I can hopefully reach a higher ending point. I swear if it's revealed that there's just like a staircase or a ladder behind, oh my God, Link. If there's a staircase or a ladder behind it, that's gonna be a little upsetting. But at the same time, at least it means this isn't what I was supposed to do. If this is what I was supposed to do, this is crazy. Let's give it a try. All right, I got the extra elevation. We're jumping up. Okay, come on, come on. There's gotta be like a wall I can cling onto or something. <gasps> yes, okay. I was afraid there wasn't actually gonna be a wall for a second. Please, please, yes. All right, let's go ahead and activate this light and the cuckoo car on light reel. Whatever, I'm just happy to be up here. Done. <sighs> All right, now, was that how I was supposed to get that light route? I mean, maybe. That's probably why the little supply area was nearby. Otherwise, I guess warping to this light route in the future is convenient because it's already higher up, and I don't see anything else connected to it. And you know what? I'll take that as a good thing. There's no secret staircase or anything like that. We're good, we're out of here. Like maybe I could have glided to it from that light route or something, I don't, I don't know, but. I, I think I did what I was supposed to do, which was to rocket myself up here. So I feel pretty accomplished. All right, and I've got two other light, well, three other light routes marked for the future. Okay, for now, let's just get out of here. I guess because I've been in the Goron region, I can go over to Goron City and I can cash in my lights of blessings up above. All right, let's do it. Let's get that extra heart. Let's fill up my health. And then the next part will be ready for more light routes and more uh, town exploration stuff, potentially. Not as much depth exploration as I did in this part, but the next part is, is pretty well set up, if I may say so myself. So, I, I feel accomplished. I did three shrines and like five light routes, six light routes, whatever. Crushing it. All right. Now, where's the light of blessing here? Because I genuinely don't remember. I never, I never use it over here. And if I really needed to heal my hearts, I could just, like, go into the water. That heals me. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Okay. You know what? It is coming back to me now. Yeah, and this is, there's a good chance that this is the last time I'll be cashing in my Lights of Blessing here in Goron City. Because I never come here to do it. So enjoy it, folks. Enjoy myself back in Goron City. Usually I cash these in over at Zora's Domain because that's my actual favorite territory. I don't necessarily dislike Goron City, and I do happen to like it more in this game. This game has made me appreciate the land of Hyrule on the map a bit more, but that's also probably because we, they did change a couple things to make it better to navigate. But I digress. Boom. Heart container. Now I'll have eight hearts at the bottom on the second row of my hearts. I hope you enjoyed watching me wander around with seven because this is the only part where that will be the case. And hopefully in the next part I will do three shrines and I'll be able to add a ninth heart to my second row. But that's for next time. This is now and now. That wraps up this part of my Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom walkthrough, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos as I explore more of the depths and actually explore more of the surface of Hyrule. But for now, bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, the best ways to support me are to click on the like button down below, and if you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. Viewer engagement helps my videos perform better, so anything helps. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun gameplay videos. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh!